Hi, I'm Emily, and in this video, we're going to be talking about three luxury compact travel stories that you might be considering for your family. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I am the Stroller Mom. I review car seats and strollers from a mom's perspective. I'm a mom of two, and I hope to help you find the best stroller. Okay, so let's just dive in. I do have full videos full reviews of the Bugaboo Butterfly and the Nuna Travel, so I will link those below. I have also compared the Bugaboo Butterfly to the Travel and the Yo-Yo as well, so I'm just gonna stay more high level on this video and just kind of which one I would pick for each category. So one of the first things I wanna talk about is price. So the Bugaboo Butterfly and the Yo-Yo are both $449. However, the Bugaboo Butter or the Baby Zen Yo-Yo does not include a footrest. So with the Bugaboo Butterfly, you get for $449 a rain cover, and an included footrest, which is really nice. For the Baby Zen Yo-Yo, you get the stroller for $449. And for the Nuna Travel, you get, it's now $500. So they recently increased the price. And obviously you have the built-in car seat adapter and you get a travel bag. You do get a travel bag for the Yo-Yo, but it's like a dust bag. So it's not like a true, like when you buy it, what's the difference between like a dust bag and a travel bag? The dust bag is light, doesn't have any padding. The travel bag usually has padding. And so it's gonna protect it better long-term. Okay, so starting from the top, both, all three of these have a nice leatherette kind of handlebar up on the top, really comfortable from a parent's perspective. Honestly, I can't even pick which one's better because they're all pretty much the same. The butterfly and the yo-yo do have these safety straps, right? So you can have this on your arm so your stroller won't roll away from you. I personally haven't found a ton of need there, but that is something to consider in the, the yo-yo and the bugaboo. In regards to push, the Nuna Travel probably wins just because it has such a smooth ride due to the wheel size. There's a downside to this though. The Travel does not fit in all overhead bins where the yo-yo and the bugaboo butterfly do. So that can be a big consideration just in general in regards to that. In regards to newborn comfort, so none of these strollers have a full flat recline. Very windy today. Um, none of these strollers have a full flat recline. However, the Yo-Yo does have an option to do a bassinet. They have a bassinet and a newborn kit. So a newborn seat is like just a different seat and the bassinet can go on and off. They do have to be purchased separately and they are at a higher price point. So that's just something to note. However, the Bugaboo Butterfly, you can purchase adapters for a bunch of different car seats. And I will put that picture here that kind of goes through those, but there's no bassinet option. And for the travel, it is only compatible with Nuna Pippa car seats. However, there's a lot of them. I really would say the main selling point for the travel is if you're already a Nuna fan, like you already have the Nuna car seat, it makes it a great stroller. This bumper bar serves as an adapter, so it's built in, which is amazing for travel if you're traveling with an infant. If you're gonna be using the stroller as an everyday stroller with an infant, ultimately, because you don't wanna keep your kids in car seats for a super long time, just from a growth and developmental standpoint, you're probably gonna to wanna to go with the yo-yo if you're using this as your only stroller from birth because you have that bassinet option. Okay, moving down. Canopies, well, all of these have good canopies. The extension that you see on the yo-yo is what you get. These two do have peekaboo windows. The yo -yo, or the Bugaboo Butterfly does not. However, the yo-yos does not have a cover and the Nuna Travels doesn't stay open. However, I would say based off peekaboo window, I love that the Nuna Travel has theirs. It's mesh, it's magnetic, it's super easy to use. It's exactly where I wanna see it. In regards to the Bugaboo Butterfly, it has this extendable canopy, which seems really great, but here's where practically as a mom, I don't love it. So one, the mesh panel is not the side closest to you, it's in the middle. So that means depending on where the sun's at, it's gonna hit your child. The second thing is, is if your child is in the upright position, doesn't matter the age, they will not be able to see out. So this like completely blocks them, which may be fine, may totally be fine. In regards to your child being reclined, it's nice, but again, this mesh panel being here, while it does have some SPF built into it, it could be, still be shining sun on your child. The other thing I will say is it's not a sufficient peekaboo window. So some people will say that is, I just don't see it as that because I couldn't see either of my children when I was walking behind the stroller. So that's something to, to consider there. In regards to seat backs, the Bugaboo Butterfly wins hands down. If you've seen any of my other Butterfly, butterfly videos, the seat back on this is sturdy. It is tall. It is wonderful. The um, thing that's working against the travel is it's a little flimsy, but I'll be honest, the yo-yo is not much better. So that's just something to know. The nice thing about the yo-yo though is when it is reclined, it doesn't have anything here. Whereas you'll see this mesh lining here does 
work against the travel if you try to have an older child lay down, right? Because they can still lay down with their head coming off of the seat a little bit. It really doesn't work in the travel, but it would in the yo-yo. Again, you might not be having it. Most older children do not sleep in strollers, just in general. I mean, they have to be really exhausted at Disney. So it's just a very small, potentially small portion of your life that you would need that. But again, you kind of have to navigate. Like, there's no such thing as a perfect stroller. So which of these is going to be best for you? Both the butterfly and the travel have no rethread harness, which means you can move the harnesses up and down really easily to navigate between multiple children's heights, right? So I have a toddler and a baby. I can use it for both. I love that. You're seeing that pretty much on all strollers that are coming out these days standard. The yo-yo came out in 2020 and it still has rethread. Again, it's not that hard, but I do find that I will not even use the shoulder straps for my toddler just because I want the five point harness for my baby. So she just gets the three point and it is fine, but that is a downside to the yo-yo. In regards to the um, travel, I will say I took the pads off, but there are pads that go here. Honestly, I don't think they really serve any purpose, but for buckles, the magnet buckles on the travel is super nice. I also like that the straps are kind of built in. So you can see there's no, I'm not having to really do much. I just have to kind of grab it and then it goes in super easily and is really nice. In the yo-yo, I hate the buckles the most on the yo-yo. So the yo-yo has a button here and you can see how they come off. My baby jogger was the same way. I just don't love that. It's hard to, it's, you're going to see that a lot on older strollers, but I just don't love having to have to try and find them. They're stuck behind them. They're not easy. The yo-yo, sorry, the bugaboo wins hands down when it comes to buckles. While I do like the magnet of the travel, the bugaboo buckles being outward position, having the no rethread, and then just being so easy. I never have to fish for them. You can do three, you can do all five. It's just super easy. You will notice that all of these strollers do in fact have a footrest. However, I did have to buy the yo-yos separately. So that's just something to be aware of. It was like 30 or $40. So it's not cheap, but you can move it. It's fine. I love the travels footrest. It's really easy. You can actually move it down one handed because there's a button on each side. It's not the sturdiest. So of these three, it's not the sturdiest. Which footrest would I prefer? Honestly, it's a toss up. I don't love how this one can stretch. This one, I don't love that you have to buy it separately. And this one from a look standpoint, I don't love, but I do love that it's really sturdy and it can be used as a handle. So if I had to pick maybe the bugaboo. Finally, they all have lower footrests for your older toddler, which is super nice. And then the wheel sizes, it's going to go the travel having the largest wheels, the yo-yo and the butterfly. I will say the travel is not as sturdy. Like you can see, there's just more wobble and stuff than the yo-yo and the butterfly. So probably from like a reinforced sturdy perspective, these two stores are going to win over the travel, but the travel is bigger, right? So it has, it just has potential to work as more of your like everyday stroller. I really do like the travel. I love the bumper bar and that's included. There is no bumper bar for the yo-yo. You can't even buy one. You can buy like knockoff brands and I'll link one of those below. And then for the butterfly, you can buy the handle. And I actually love, I wish they included it, but the butterfly's handle will actually fold with the bumper bar and so does the travel. So that's something I'll show. I'm gonna show you real quickly how to fold them all. The other thing I will say is there's some cool added airflow here on the travel that's unique. So that's something that's not apples and apples across, but it's something that's unique to the travel. So you have that mesh lining. Um, the seat upright position on these strollers, travel wins. It's the most upright position your child is in. I never feel like my child's reclining. You can see here that the yo-yo is at its highest setting and it's still quite reclined. And in Europe, I was just in Europe a few weeks ago and all the toddlers were like pulling the seat up to sit in it, which I think is just kind of crazy that they haven't like made that. In regards to changing and adjusting the seats, the easiest one hands down is, I mean, the travel and the bugaboo are the same, right? So they're both going to be the same for adjusting the seats back and forth. The yo-yos is the hardest. You just kind of, it just feels older, right? It just doesn't have the same, like the modern ease that the bugaboo and the travel have. In regards to brakes, they all have flip-flop friendly brakes. My favorite is the travel. The travel's brake is just like so easy. You just tap it. It's great. The yo-yos is probably like the weirdest to me. Like I can't always tell if it's on or not. And then the yo-yos I thought, or the bugaboos, I thought for sure 
Hopefully I said that right. That was the yo-yo's break. I'm not really sure. And the bugaboo butterflies I thought wasn't going to be foot flop friendly, but it is. It's great. I'm really happy with it. In regards to basket capacity, the butterfly wins. It is the biggest basket. It has the highest weight. I think it's like 16.7 or like almost 17 pounds, whereas the others are like 10 pounds. So you get an extra seven pounds with the butterfly butterfly which is really cool it's also the bigger basket the travel has the same size basket as basically as the bugaboo but because of that added weight i'm going to give the bugaboo props on that there is a handle a carrying handle on both the butterfly and the yo-yo there is no carrying handle on the travel however the bumper bar basically serves as that on bumper bars the bumper bars are included in the travel there is not one for the yo-yo, so I will include like a knockoff version, but it kind of shocks me they don't have one. And there is a really nice bumper bar for the Bugaboo Butterfly. You just have to buy it separately, but if this was like my only travel stroller, I would buy it, honestly. I think it's great. And I really do feel like the accessories that they have on the Bugaboo Butterfly are super well thought out. They don't have a bassinet option, right? So going back to what I said earlier about that, but otherwise it's like really, really wonderful. All right, so let's get into kind of folding these strollers and I will show you how to do that. I do have the cup holder for the Nuna Travel. I have a whole blog post on that. It does not come with. So again, some of these accessories I have, I bought. So I bought the footrest for the yo-yo and I bought the cup holder for the travel. Okay, so go ahead and put the brake on this stroller and then it is a true one-handed fold and the Nuna Travel fold is the best. You just pinch the buttons, throw it, and it folds. And then you can carry it like that. It does come with a travel bag, so you can use that. I have used that and gate checked it. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best padding. So like it will, if you're traveling all the time with the stroller and you're gate checking it a lot, it will probably wear over time, but it worked for the amount of travel I do. In regards to the yo-yo, it is the most complicated fold. So the folds, hands down, the travel wins, right? But these two strollers win from fitting an overhead bin. So, you know, it's just different things. So the yo-yo, you just use two hands. You do those buttons underneath. And then you reach under and push a button and a lever and it closes. Maybe the wheels get stuck a lot. But the carrying strap is so nice. So you can hold it like that and it is just really easy. So I really like that about the yo-yo. So I'll put these side by side and you can see the folds on those. And then for the butterfly, you just get used to it. You use two hands, one handed, and you just push it into each other and it is pretty close to a one-handed. So other than the yo-yo, they are all one-handed folds. They all stand up on their own, which is super nice. And then these two include that. So the smallest you can get, I mean, you could technically take the travels bumper bar off and it could get a little smaller, but you can see why these two strollers are definitely smaller. I will say um, from a weight capacity, like a weight capacity, they're the same for children. They all hold like 50 pounds. For a kid, however, in regards to the weight of the stroller themselves, the lightest option is going to be the Nuna, followed by the Yo-Yo, followed by the Butterfly. However, you really don't feel the difference. So I, really, I, I would say that probably shouldn't be a factor. So at the end of the day, who are each of these strollers best for? I would say the Nuna Travel is great if you have a Nuna car seat. Um, if you have more of like a suburban like car life um i real this was the first well this was not the first but one of the first travel stores i got one of the stroller i got for my second i have the nuna car seat it's so easy to go in and out i love so much about this stroller i really do there's some things i think they'll fix in the next version and then it will be an even better stroller and probably compete better with these i wish it fit an overhead bin of an airplane but i don't travel that much so if you're not traveling that much that might not need to be as big of a factor you feel like you i want to travel but like if you're not traveling just something to be aware of. It is a great stroller. It really is. I love the no re-thread. I love the magnetic buckle. I love the bumper bar. I love the push. It's by far the easiest push of these strollers. Next, we have the yo-yo. It is definitely the most complicated <laughs> to fold and kind of to unfold. You can see the wheels get stuck. Um, this stroller is a classic. It's the OG. It's the like compact travel queen. <laughs> so it's great. You see it all over. It has reputation. It is well-made. It has those really cool options. I don't even think I mentioned them in this video, but I'll mention them in the full review and it is in my bugaboo comparison video with the yo-yo, but you can do the bassinet. You can get the, um, the newborn seat. There also are some things I didn't mention, which is the stand riding board you can get for both of these strollers. They don't sell one for Nuna, but there's like a third party option that could work. 
And something that's really cool is you can connect two strollers, two yo-yos together to make it a double stroller, which is really cool depending on your family and lifestyle. The second stroller will then hang on the bar. It's sturdy enough to hang something on the bar. I really like that about the yo-yo. So the yo-yo has the reputation. It is a really well-made stroller. It is still great. It's just missing some of the conveniences that you're seeing in newer strollers. That's it. In regards to the Bugaboo Butterfly, this stroller is just so impressive. I love the tall seat back. I love the buckles. I love that the basket holds more. I wish the wheels were a little bigger. I wish it had a peekaboo window. But otherwise, it's a great stroller. Which of these strollers do you think is the best? Comment below. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to support the channel so we can keep doing more stroller reviews. And if you do end up deciding to buy one of these, please shop through the links in the bio. It helps support this channel at no additional cost to you. Thanks so much for watching.